Darkseid Robotics has just added another major award under their belt. Our LV Hissom sat down and talked to them about their most recent win. Darkside Robotics recently won the Community Impact Award in the 2024 Optimum Innovator Awards. Along with this award, Darkside Robotics received $2,000 from Optimum for their partnership with the Tyler County Emergency Services Commission. We were tasked with trying to build a platform to go right on top of here that will just clip on and off and be quick and easy to take places and be very easy for other people to use so that we didn't have to have someone skilled to use it. Uh, it's a little mini robot guy that uh, will go into places that is not always suitable for humans or for animals, um, uh, like stuff like a claw bot or a drone. I know he mentioned that earlier. Um, and basically things that wouldn't be good for humans to go into, so they've asked us to help um, construct different things to help them with that. Avery Kalen, a member of the robot drive team, explains how their other competition robot, affectionately named Chewy, works in her full glory. We do a different game like every single year and this year's game was about music. We got notes like this for our robots to pick up and most of the robots would shoot it into the speaker but some robots could shoot it into the amp that's over there. We also have a climber which if you climb on the chain it gives you extra points. Team captain Helena Telcher says that the project took many weeks of planning, from coming up with ideas and prototyping with a wooden robot before beginning on the final framing. We didn't actually start building the actual, fr or building on the actual frame of the robot, I would say, until halfway through our build season, as we call it. Telcher says that the money won by the team will mostly go into overall materials, admissions into various competitions, and community events hosted by the team. So unfortunately, robotics is not a very cheap um, endeavor. The uh, admissions, I'm going to say the admissions costs into the different competitions are multiple thousands of dollars already. So it could definitely be used towards that, as well as the materials that you need to build the robot. Telcher says that when the team won the award, that it felt good to see that the group was being recognized for the work that they have done in our area. Sometimes I can feel, especially when you're in an area like this, where there aren't a lot of robotics things, where then you see that someone sees you in what you're doing, how we're trying to help the area and uh, get out there. It felt very good to be recognized, I guess, yeah. <laughs> in Waverly, L.V. Hissam for WTAP News. This is home. Dark Side Robotics is looking for new members. You are more than welcome to join if you are in middle school or high school. You can go to our online article at WTAP.com to learn more about upcoming events with Dark Side Robotics.